a lot of you sent me some DMs on Instagram wanting to see how I did my makeup, so I'm gonna do my best. Stay tuned. or follow me over here on social media. I do all sorts of travel from, uh, you know, bouncing off to Europe, Disney, cruising, which I love. So today we're gonna be talking about my cruise formal night look. Um, appreciate my tripod, I did a lot of shooting today. So we're doing what we can with what we have, plus I have to get ready to pack up because I have to get off the ship in two days. So we're gonna do that. So for the hair, I usually keep it pretty, simple as you can see I already have some waves and curls in it so what I use is this Remington ceramic curling wand um, and I'll just throw a couple curls in here so let's get started well I would get started if that was plugged in and heating like I thought it was so um, we can start with some essentials I guess um, so I always have little hair clips with me I have bangs because I have a widow's peak as you can see right here. So I clip the bangs off to the side. I do have a flat iron I usually bring with me as well. But if I'm doing overnight curls, so these are leftovers. I've kind of brushed these out, these waves. I use this product called Silky and I'll do this before bed. If you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, you've seen this. But um, you kind of look like a Star Wars character when you put it on. But it literally takes four minutes. You wrap your hair around it finish off the ends with scrunchies sleep and you wake up with a big beautiful bouncy curls that look beautiful on vacation so that's the gist with that um I did already spray a heat spray in my hair I have a little thing that I spray it's in my bathroom and brush it out and then we'll get doing the hair so this is my bigger barrel I do have a smaller one but I'm just looking to do loose waves tonight so I literally just wrap this around Hold it for roughly 10, 15, sometimes 20 seconds, depending on how long and tight I want the curl to be. So we'll see. We're at 15 seconds right now, I think. All right. So this, like I said, is a looser one. I'm gonna finish, not eat up all this time for you watching because nobody wants to see that. I'm gonna finish going around my head a little bit and I might take some of these out so I can get a little higher. All right, I'll be right back. One thing I forgot to mention when I'm doing loose curls is I did a couple on the bottom like you first saw, but then I'll kind of rotate and do some that are tight to the head so I have a combination of curls top and bottom, but still keep it a loose looking wave scenario. You'll, about, you'll see here in just a second. It'll be worth it, I promise. Okay, I'm gonna drop that. So you see we have some low curls, we have some high curls, kind of keeping it a little wavy and simple. I usually though will come very close to the head. The ones that are closest to my face, I like to make sure are really curly compared to just low curls like we showed earlier. And just so you know, when you have a smaller piece of hair, kind of like what I have on the barrel right now, you do not need to hold it as long. So we're gonna give this a little tussle. I gotta finish off, we'll split this in two. Um, finish off two pieces on this side and then we'll be done with this side so again be right back okay curls are in the hair and I usually just spritz with a little hairspray especially to keep these little flyaways up top at bay and then what I will do at the end as I poke my eye out is I will flat iron this little bang piece that likes to curl under just so that it goes with the rest of the hair all right, next, we gotta put these clips back in like we did earlier because we need our hair out of the face <laughs> so that we can start working on our makeup. So this is not a long process. I am not a makeup YouTuber or, sorry, itchy eyes, blogger. So I try to keep this as simple, but I like it to stay as long as possible. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the eyes. So I used to do foundation first and then eyes, but then you know I'd have a little spillover from eyeshadow. 
So I decided to do it in the reversal the last few times and that I think actually works better. So first thing we need to do is prime the face. I use Urban Decay's All Nighter Ultra Glow Primer. Um, gosh, it doesn't seem like there's a lot in here, but I've been using this for months now and it feels so good on the face. Like it's kind of a gel consistency, but this will help your makeup stay a bit longer on your face, which is what we want. And it kind of gives a dewy look to your skin. Don't worry, I'm gonna turn off this yellow light. We're working with cabin lighting right now, which isn't always the most flattering, but you'll get the gist. All right, after that, I take a little bit of concealer. There it is right here. I use the Tarte Shape Tape. This is in Light 20B. And I will hit this on the top of my eyelids as well as under here a bit. And then on the eyelids, I'll just kind of rub it in a bit. And it's okay if it looks pasty because we're gonna be putting shadow over this area. This is just so some of the colors that we have on tonight will be a little bit more vibrant. I know it looks like a mess, but I promise it will be worth it. And then for under eye, I just go in with a dauber here. I called it a dauber, but it's definitely a sponge. I just realized I missed bingo today. Random thoughts. All right. I know it doesn't look like much, but it's gonna get there. And there's a squeaky drawer and I can't help it, guys, so I apologize for that too. Alrighty, my camera needs to straighten out a little bit. This is a mess, but I want you guys to see the authentic me. This is authentic me. It's not perfect. All right, so I have a slight hooded lid. I have very big eyelids as well. So my method is to take a darker color and kind of go in the crease, a medium color here, a light color here, and a light color up top. So what I'm gonna do first is I have this palette from Too Faced. What I did the other night was I did my neutrals palette, which I'll show you as well, but this has some fun pinks and purples. I have a sequin color dress tonight. So I think adding in a little bit more color will be helpful. But this is usually my go-to palette that I take traveling with me all the time. We had a glitter explosion this, this trip, so. Um, still cleaning up from that because I like glitter. <laughs> um, but this is my favorite. This is the Artistry palette and it's all neutrals. This is 9T, but there's lots of golds and browns too. I'm gonna try the light to see if you can get the true color here. There it is. We'll turn that off at the end too. But that's what I used the other night when I did my face. Just FYI, and it's good for just, you know, even the everyday quick look. I use that a lot. So first, but first thing I wanna do, I only bring a couple brushes on vacation. These are the ones of choice. Sometimes I also have a small uh, angled brush, but these are all I brought because I want all my makeup stuff to fit in a small makeup bag. I don't wanna be packing more stuff than I need to. So we're gonna take this little guy and I think for our light color, I'm going to go with this kind of light pink. It's kind of like a light peachy pink. We're just gonna get it up here a little bit. Nothing too crazy. We don't wanna look like Mimi from the Drew Carey show here. Just kinda work it up there. Mm -hmm. Work it up. All right, next is gonna be this moment of truth. We are going to get the dark color, and I'm going dark tonight, so we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna take this really dark, bluey, purpley, so my dress is black with a lot of colors of sequins, and I'm going to work that into my crease. I always, because I have this light hood here, lift up a little bit. I know that does not look pretty right now, but we are just gonna work that in. It'll all blend at some point. You can even bring it down a little bit because we're going to blend all these colors. You might look like a raccoon at first, but a very sexy raccoon. All right, other side. You know, this is going to be a really great place for people to take still frames when they pause this video. Because I make some really attractive faces when I do my makeup. So different using the camera. I feel like the pressure's on. All 
right, so that's the initial bow for that. I will keep a little tissue nearby so I can get off some of that dark color since we are only bringing a couple brushes with us. So in this side, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this purpley kind of color. I'm probably gonna blend it a little with that dark one. It's like a magenta, but we are gonna start working on that. Do you want, I'm gonna flip brushes here. Like I said, I am not a makeup artist. I just do normal people makeup and I try to make it look good. Like we said, we want it dark and colorful. We are going for a nice evening look tonight. And we need to blend, blend, blend because we don't want to look like a raccoon from the trash cans. Even though we said sexy raccoon earlier, you still need to do the work. All right, and brush that up. Now we're gonna go for that light color right here. We finished getting some of this eyeshadow off. All right, and I've chosen this kind of lavendery sparkly color. I kind of didn't have a game plan for this, but. more of that in here. We're gonna kind of blend this all in. Blend it, blend it, blend it. And don't worry, we can touch up like little spots that didn't go to plan. I kind of feel like I have lumpy eyelids, so. Okay, we're almost done working some of that in, okay. So we're going to touch up that little spot there. I just kind of go in and wipe it. It looks darker than it is, because look. Sometimes it's just the shadows of the face. All right, that is the gist of what we're doing for now. We will go back and touch up a little bit with the eyeliner, and then I'll take a close-up of video in more natural light so you guys can see the full the full look but the goal is to be a little darker this evening all right next we're gonna do eyeliner I use perversion by urban decay it is a liquid brush tip I don't know if you guys can see that but we are gonna get up close and personal with Haley's eye right now I know you're not supposed to hold it but since I'm using the camera as a mirror I need to a little bit Let me see if I can finish the end of this here. I'm sorry I had to block you guys for a minute. I'll try not to block too much. Just so you know, it looks way more darker and dramatic on the camera. Right here it actually looks really good. But yeah, I feel like you know, because I'm getting older and, you know, I'm heading into the mid-30s here, that my eyes are a little crepe papery, even though I have a great skincare. I mean, I have big eyes. It is what it is. Let's see here. Now we're going to do a modified wing. Because I have hooded lashes, what I'll do is I'll come right to the outside right here. Find my spot. And draw over. That's just the initial spot. I'm going to come over here. and draw it over. So you guys get that gist. It never fails, I end up making one a pinch longer than the other. So then I'll just kind of go in from here and start working on it. So when you have hooded, le um, hooded eyes, you can't do a full wing. It kind of, um, I've heard other people call it a bat wing. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second as I finish touching this up. So what I have to do is draw part of this wing and then short it down. So it's not a full wing, but when my eyes are open, it looks more like a regular wing. So that's kind of what you have to do. So I'm gonna finish this side. And then we're pretty much gonna be done with the eyes aside for some touch-ups. Fix that right here. 
Sorry I'm blocking you, but need to see. Okay, there's the gist of that. I don't line my lower lash lid because I get a little concerned about how dark I am right here. So I just don't do it and I don't feel like it. So what was I looking for next? I'm not doing fake lashes. I didn't pack any on this cruise. I was not feeling that life. Um, but now I'm gonna go in with my tissues, kind of touch up right here if I had some spillover and then we're gonna start working on the face base. I have some glitter that's gonna go on the eyes, but we're gonna start doing this. So we already did a little under eye. We put our foundation um, primer on. Now it's time to go in. This is kind of a mess and I'm, I'm ashamed to show you guys, but I use NARS and I've been trying to clean this up because of the glitter. So I use the uh, NARS, this is Barbados Sheer Glow Medium 3.3. And I just shake a little on the finger, shake a little on the finger, touch up right here, give yourself a nice bunch of spots. And then we're going to pack that in with the flat side of our sponge. Mm -hmm. Do -do -do -do. Again, I am not perfect. I'm not a makeup artist, but I do what works for me. And maybe you guys might learn something. Maybe it might be something that works for you too. All right, the bulk of that is in. Um, sometimes I'll also go in, like I think I probably will tonight. Sorry to move my leg. And um, do another round underneath my eye just because of how dark I'm going on top. So we'll take a little bit more of this. Get a touch up under there. I start a little lower when I already have some eye makeup on just so I can work it up into the under eye area. Okay. Perfect. And then we're gonna do a light contour. I'm not a contour pro. I just pick up little things here and there. So we're gonna slightly line the nose. That side didn't come in. There we go. We're gonna put a little, a little bit right there. I put a little right here. Okay. Apparently somebody just wanted to dress formal according to the gossip outside my door. We're gonna just press that in, blend it in. See, I don't even use the right terminology all the time. I'm very light with the contour because sometimes I think when people contour it kind of looks like dirt and we don't want to look like we have dirt on our face. All right next I'll go in with a little bit of bronzer. I have the Too Faced Do You. It kind of smells like melon which is super exciting. Um, it's not fun to open. It has this little lip so I always have to grab my tweezers and kind of pop it. How the neck is hot. We're gonna just do a little on the cheek area. A little on the cheek. A little in this T-zone area. Found the nose. And I just get a little dusting right here. All right, there's that. Then I'm gonna come in with some highlighter. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Glow Face Highlighter. I'm gonna put a little right here here, a little on the nose, and we are going to, I just love it, it gives just such a nice like dewy glow, I can bring it up here a little bit, nice little glow, pretty, 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 all right, eyebrows, super simple, I have, I don't even know who it's by, but um, I just grab a simple little brow pencil I'll kind of fill in a little bit right here nothing crazy I don't like to make my brows super dark just kind of fill in a little bit there we go we're almost done all right now I talked about glitter for the eyelids so 
I love the Stila liquid glitter um, eye shadows. Like they are just they're like this shade is pink wink, but I like to plop some in the corner just like that. Might need a little more over here. Hold on. And then I will just go in with that ring finger and touch it up. I just love it. Sometimes what I'll even do is I'll take it along the bottom lash line as well. Because who doesn't want a little extra sparkle in their day? Sparkle is life. Okay. Now we're going to do the mascara. I'm currently loving the Their Real Magnet Mascara from Benefit. Gives a nice volume. I didn't bring a lash curler either because I think I have nice eyelashes and I can get away with it sometimes, so. Okay, that's looking good. All right, last step. I can't believe we're on our last step here. Um, if I can find it, because right now I'm just throwing a bunch of stuff in front of me. It is um, Urban Decay, the shade is called Psycho. It's lovely. What I used other night, and I'm gonna briefly show you before I put this on, because I'm kind of obsessed with it, it's called Pat McGrath Labs. This is when I do red. The pink is what I'm going for tonight. But it's a stick with a lip gloss that you put on top or you can do whichever way. But then you press this beautiful red glitter into it. I'm gonna show you guys a picture right here. It's nice. I love it and I'm obsessed with it. But the look's a little different tonight. So this is a pretty, pretty pink. I can't even, it's kind of becoming one of my favorite shades. And it has a little glitter in it. I don't know if you guys can kind of see that, but it's everything. Okay. I don't lie, I keep it simple. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Now I need to get dressed so I can show you guys the finished product project and also finish my bangs so i'll be right back so i forgot a step and it's the setting spray so it's just <sighs> so here's a better look at the makeup in like real natural light it's definitely very different than the yellow light but i love it i hope you guys too if you want to see another one just let me know and until then i'll see you next time bye guys